Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Check it. In today's video, we are going to be talking about some massive updates for our Samsung Galaxy smartphones. Now, we have two updates. One of them is the usual security update, and the other one is a brand new fantastic feature that has been added to phones running One UI 2.5 for now. So let's dive in and discover what's happening. Now, real quick, first, I'm going to talk about the standard update. So if I go to my settings right over here, and if I scroll all the way down, and if I go to my software update, you can see the last update was done today. Now, this is basically a security patch update for September. And of course, we're getting software updates that include device stability improvements, some bug fixes, some new and enhanced features. But overall, what I've noticed was after this update, the phones are a little bit more stable. Now, this update is also available for Samsung Galaxy S20 Note 10 and the S10. Standard monthly security update. Tap over here. You can see this one is ready to download. Uh, they should be around 209 megabytes. And like I said, these are going to be performance improvements and stability uh, enhancements. So that's that. Just go to your settings, go all the way down, tap on software update, and tap on download and install to grab this one for your phone. All right, so let's move on to the next massive update that is only available as of now on One UI 2.5. Now, this is an application released by Samsung. It is known as the Wonderland application that basically allows you to create wallpapers just like this one. Beautiful, gorgeous, animated wallpapers that can be fully customized. Now, real quick, if you wanna download this application, click the link down below. Okay, it's going to take you to my website. You scroll down just a little bit. Under download, you want to click on link number one, known as Wonderland. When you click it, you'll go straight to the store, and then you can install this application. Now, let's dive in and look at what this application is capable of. It's actually very advanced, even though it looks very simple. So, let's launch it. There's the Wonderland. It says, create your own moving wallpaper. So, let's tap on start. Okay, and then we have a bunch of wallpapers right over here. Now, let me quickly show you what's happening over here. So let's uh, pick uh, this one right here, landscape wallpaper. So that's just a basic wallpaper. Now, you do have the option to tap on edit and further customize it. You have things like motion effect that you can add to the wallpaper, and you can add elements on top of the actual wallpaper. I'm going to show you that in a second. Now, let me just set this up real quick. I'm going to go for home screen. So right now, this is a basic moving wallpaper. If I grab the phone and move it around, as you can see, the wallpaper is moving around as well in all kinds of different planes, the X plane, the Y plane, and the Z plane. So it's a three di almost a three-dimensional uh, wallpaper. Now, let me go back into Wonderland. Okay, let's go for this one, the one that you just saw in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to tap on Set as Wallpaper. And again, uh, it has the animation effects. As you can see, you have these cards coming down slowly. But if I pick it up and if I move around, the wallpaper itself is moving. But these elements on the actual wallpaper, so this is the background, and these are two elements, separate elements on the actual wallpaper that move independently, and you can customize all that movement. All these cards are also elements of the actual wallpaper. Now, let's go back over here. Let me sh uh, show you what I'm talking about. If I tap on this one, okay? Now, if you tap on Edit, you're going to see a lot of stuff over here. Now, an example, if you tap on this, here is one element of the wallpaper, okay? You can put it right here. Uh, here is another element of the wallpaper. I can put it right over here. And then all these tiny cars that were flying are also elements of the wallpaper. And you can customize the motion effect of each one of these guys. Now, with these guys, they just move around the screen, okay? With these one, you can tell... Uh, the software to make them rain. As you can see, you have these selected effects right here, the duration of the effects and the size of the effect, and then you have the color options and everything. Uh, I'm going to go into more detail about this, but I just want to show you what's happening here. Uh, let's just cancel this one out. Do you want to finish editing the Wonderland? Yep, finish, okay? So that's the Wonderland wallpaper, okay? And then we have all these other options. Let's look at this one here, okay? Let's tap on Edit, see how advanced this is. 
This one has four elements, all of them customizable, including that those little white circles that are just floating about on the screen. So again, if I, I'm not gonna save it, I'm gonna set this as a wallpaper on the home screen or the lock screen. And again, look at that. It's animated, it's live, uh, it's a motion wallpaper, it's moving around as you can see. Okay, now remember, uh, if you do go back inside here to Wonderland, you can actually change the motion. So if I tap on edit, and if I tap on motion effect, I can change the motion and make it more prominent if I want to, all right? So if I tap on save, I can uh, rename it. Let's just say two for now, okay? So that's my own motion wallpaper that I just created basically. I tap on this one. Now look at the motion effect now as I move it around. Look at how, how much more pronounced the motion actually is. All right, it's almost three dimensional. All righty, so that's that. And one more thing with motion wallpapers is if I go here, now if I tap on plus, I can create my own from the very get go. I can choose a background image and then start adding the motion effects and then start adding elements on top of the wallpaper and animate them as I please. So let me tap on finish over here. Uh, let's look at this one. What's this cat one over here? Look at that, set as wallpaper, home. Okay, and is it motion? This one is not motion. This is just an animated wallpaper, but you can motionize it if you want, simply by going here, uh, tap on edit, add a motion effect. Look at that, I can actually motionize it, uh, give it a new name, save, tap over here, look at that. Now I can also preview it, now it's moving. Everything is just moving around. The elements, the cat, everything, okay? So a really advanced little tool that I'm gonna have to be playing with. Imagine creating your own wallpaper with your own background, your own elements, your own animations. It's gonna take a while to learn, but wow, this is amazing. Let's look at this one. What is this uh, snow town? Uh, set as wallpaper, home. Do we have any motion? Yep, we also have motion. It looks like a live snow town. Absolutely gorgeous. This is some amazing stuff they're doing. Samsung is just dumping these updates onto these phones. Now, real quick, Wonderland, again, as of now, is only available uh, with the, let me just go over here, with a Samsung One UI 2.5. Okay, unfortunately for now, uh, either it's gonna be downwards compatible soon with One UI 2.1, 2.0, or it's gonna be available on the phones that do get the upgrade to One UI 2.5. We'll see what happens with that, but so far, this is Wonderland, all right? Absolutely fantastic. Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know, and for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?